this is Judy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be working on sketch number 12 from Chrissy's Beautiful Life, 30 Days of Sketches. And it is a sketch from Laura Whitaker. And the Dottie About Flair prompt is polka dots. I'm probably not going to use polka dots, but that's okay. I don't have to if I don't want to. That's one good thing about sketches, make them your own. So this is the sketch. I'm going to have this out for some inspiration. It looks like they have some banners here, a banner here. I like that piece, a triangle on both corners, a circle, flowers. I probably won't use the flowers. I'm going to be using a photo of my grandson. Isn't this just too darn cute? <laughs> it's so cute. And my daughter had propped him up on the couch and he gave that little expression. It was just, just so, I just love this picture. But anyways, it's just like his dad. And here he's playing on dad's computer. So that's the title. It's going to be just like dad. And um, I'm going to use those for my embellishments as well as some computer related things. So I cut out some keyboard type um, little pieces from my Cricut. And here's a little computer screen and some more on the computer screen and some arrows and a plus sign. And then I took out some of this paper. This is from the Sweet as Honey collection. There it is right there um, from Close to My Heart. And I don't know if any of it's available. It was very, very popular and may have sold out. So I'm going to use these scraps that I have. I like the gray background and the yellow because it goes with what's in the photo. It's gray and some yellow. So look at how well that goes together. So I brought out this text print that was in the collection and there is a B print on the other side. But I think I'm going to use this as my corner pieces for the triangles. And then the yellow will be some of my highlight, and this will be my base. So that's what I have. So I'm going to get a little bit more cut out like I usually do, and then I will be back and show you what I came up with. Oh, one more thing. I've got a circle element. This was, I don't know from what, but I'm going to use that. And I brought out this stamp set because it has, it's like a Scrabble letter tile stamp set but I thought this would be really good for the element of the computers and this is a new stamp set from close to my heart and it has some of these little fun um, very kid child like banners so I'm going to use that too and I think that's all I have so we will get to work on this and I'll be back in a second all right, I have got a lot done. I cut my corner pieces and I cut some strips of that hexagon paper to add as a border for those pieces. I've got some strips here. This is the back of that really pretty Sundance paper and I love the stripes. So those are going to be some of the banner pieces. And then I can have some down here under the photo. Aren't they just so cute? He's just so cute. <laughs> so it'll be down here. And we'll have the control button and the computer. I think I was going to put the computer here. The control button. And then I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that piece yet. Um, I also used my thin cuts to get these little pieces here. And I think I'm going to stamp the Just Like Dad on them. Be with this stamp set again so I'll get that ready and I will probably use the black ink and then I've got a bunch of this paper that was in the kit it's the exclusive paper so I'll probably make some banners with that as well and the back of this B paper is the hexagon so we're there so let's see what else I've got I've got the jute twine. This was from another um, 
video that I just did. So I'm gonna use this to hang my banners on or my little banner pieces on those. So I think I've just about got everything ready. So I'll start peering it down. They've got a splotch up here. I probably won't do that. I might do some splattering with a shimmer brush to add some interest to this background paper. However, it is a cream with like little pieces of, um, I don't even know what you call it, little hairs it looks like embedded in the paper. And that it's gray, so it goes really well with all of these other colors and, and textures. So I will get things started to adhere it down and go from there. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is use my glue to attach this down. And I'm not anticipating having to slide anything underneath these layers. So I'm going to just make sure I get my corners. And the liquid glue gives you that little bit of wiggle room. And with this glue, you just use a little tiny bit because you don't want your paper to warp because it is water-based. But it's very inexpensive and it will hold your pieces really well. So it'll be this piece here. This one we can tuck under the photos. And then this could also be up here. going to stamp my title, which would be just like dad. And I got my little pieces all ready. I thought I'd add a little bit of this espresso ink to the edges of these banner pieces just so that they pop off the background. I'm just going to go like that. It gives it a nice weathered look that really makes it stand out against the background.
I'm looking back at the sketch. I'll try and follow it. So, I'm going so this would be good here. And this could go, I want it to go over the top like this. So I might have to pull this one and put it up there and then cut it off so that it's long enough. So that would be there. And then down here I can use a shorter piece if I need to and have it coming out from the photos. Right, the next thing I want to do is attach my banner string. So I'm going to take these and I'm going to roll them up into a little piece there and put them about where I'm going to have the banner. space out my letters now and I think I'm going to have the computer here so you won't be able to see that so we'll do the letters down here and it looks like I'm going to have to oh that's too loose I can tell already so I'll have to have it up I'll probably have to ink the edges of these Looks like my title is going to be too big. All right, well, the computer is not going to be able to go there then. So we'll have to move these over here a little bit further and pop them up on some foam. We'll give it some dimension and distance from the bottom for shadowing. Now it looks like it's almost like the key, he's got the key there. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to have that pop up over or under. All right. So let me find the other piece of jute it's on my lap. Okay. So I'm going to ink these again with the espresso so everything looks like it goes together. Okay, I've got them all inked and it really made them stand out from the background so now we'll put some foam tape on the back. Okay, I got my foam adhesive on the back. So I'll just start laying these over the top of that banner string. Okay, I was going through my stash and I found these enamel dots from Altenew that really I think will work well. These small, very yellow enamel dots that look almost like that Sundance color that's here. So we'll see. I'll get them out of the package and we'll see if they're close enough in color tone. I would like to use the hearts, but they are... There aren't enough of them. 
the stars would have been good too, but they're not enough either. So, oh yeah, I think they'll look good. Okay. So let's get those down in between the letters. And that will bring a little more attention to the title as well. It looks very fun and festive, playful, which goes along with him. So we're going to pop this up on foam adhesive as well. And I use liquid glass for adhering foam to my embellishments. put something heavy on there that's our ink pad all right so looking back on the sketch that could be the computer oh, I've got an arrow there we'll have to adhere down I don't have anything here for an embellishment they have one two three clusters so that's one two so maybe I can put something here We'll add the control maybe here. I like the banner, which is here. So the only thing left is uh, we can do journaling along here because that's, you know, a nice place to add some interest. couple other little embellishments here. Got this little plus sign. You could add that there. I'm going to tuck it in here. Oh, I like it there. So we have our splatters to add. And I have our black shimmer brush. I might have enough ink on here to add some dots. Oh, there we go. Let's add some shimmer to some of these elements. Maybe add it to the key. Do the computer screen. Okay, there's my page I just add got to add the journaling and I will be done so I hope you enjoyed that close-ups will be at the end please make sure you check out everybody else that is following along in today's sketch and have a wonderful day